you bro. Me. I've sent it to you. Check your this thing. Where's your phone? Oh, Jabbe. Oh, Jabbe. Oh, Jabbe. Oh, Jabbe. Oh, Jabbe. Oh, Jabbe. Oh, I will speak English to summarize. Yes, yes. Uh, on behalf of the organizing committee, I humbly and happily welcome you to the Holy Land of Abaraoto. Of course, the right go. If you look at that man out of, it qualifies to be described as a holy land. So I welcome you sincerely to this blessed land of Urubo, whose accomplishments have transformed the global image of Urubo people. We are just here now to celebrate just one of them. Professor Bruce Obama Yoma Onoblakweya, who is a young man by comparison. Although it's 90 years on the 30th of this month, he was the first born of his father, and the father gave birth to him when the father was already 67 years old. Uh, if it was this time in Rubalak, I can now say now, I will keep it. I can hear you swap. But for Bamu, we are 52. He's saying that this thing is not optimal. How? Bruce is 90 now, but his father was 112. I'm going to go out of the market. Oh, Shopee Data, what we see here? Papa, you are a young man, no? <laughs> you have to beat your father's record. <laughs> uh, these are accomplishments. Longevity. Tomotigo to Tori. Yorubo prayer is simple. Any government that cannot implement it is a failed government. Tomotigo has four dynasties. One is Ogo, one is Ugele, one is Agbara, and one is Orogo. I'm the Boka And what is now Optima? The Agbara people are the most diasporic people in the Rubola. I call, I pull here, I keep it, I get with Ferrari in the town for it. It's the only town in Nigeria of this size that has an airport. Airport Hebrew IT now. <laughs> yeah. Now, Abara people are the owners of 80% of world territory. No one is there. No one is there. They are called Abara Lori in the political map. It's in here, I know you from here. And I wish I can. They own Abara, where you have the Ichu, Ichu Temple. Abara, Abara, Ichu, yeah, so go on. I'm sure I'm right. Odeo is owned by them. Ibudu is owned by them. Okurejo Robo is Abara. Ejeba, Abara. Ogunu, Jabara. Abia, Abara, Abara, Abara. I now tell you, our people are When the British came, they had to purchase that Magbara before it could be established. If you put it on there, you're deaf. I said, you know what it is like. Open the book. Agbara are also the people who own Ogara. Chief Eni from Ogara. Agbara, very near Orogun. If I take the meter from here, Ogara. I call the team, they want to establish what they call a naval Ogara near the river line area. Ogara is Borina. Yeah. 
not just Ogara. Another people move from this area and find a place called Mosoga. It's from here. From this area, another group of migrants, adventurers, found the Gere Kingdom. So the whole of Ethiopia West is also part of Africa. Abdi Abokai. And that word is sacred and strategic. Eva Kayu Uru. We are partly with Benin. Enyaka Enyurubo. When you hear that kind of language, you communicate with spirits. Abdi Abokai. But I'm very delighted that the Yoruba family have produced two governors in the past 30 years in their task. Why is it war? Olorugu Felix of Odero in Hebrew. Adobadara. His graveyard is at the back there. What did you see? Urugu Kesiwe. You would like to die when you see the grave. <laughs> now, the second elected governor of Greater State is JBC. JBC. Ibori, Dutupeko, also Agbara, grandchild. Are you sure? Now, if this work, break it down in Greater State, break it down. <laughs> so I, I, I join you in saluting the sagacity of the Agbara people in putting a stamp on the earth and producing the greatest artist Africa has ever had. This is the greatest. It's iconic.
He came to do an exhibition in Ugele in 1959. That was the first outing he did. He came on holiday, he was idle, had no work to do. But he lived in Aka, Bini. When he, he got to Bini is now, that's the forest where he grew up. Also, Eberokpa, and Eberokpa in Urobo is the astronaut. And you go in Urobo, you go in is an astronaut. Every Eberokpa in Urobo going up the Ologe, he's, he's singing a song, climbing up very carefully. With a rig or rope that he constructed himself. Okay. And when he gets up there, he might meet a reptile resting there. Oh, Shomo, there's nobody in Africa as hard working as the people. Okay. Bruce grew up there in that environment. His father was a sculptor. Other green He learned from his father. And he has at distance his father. My mama here, yeah. Don't you? My mama here, yeah. Oh, my mama here, yeah. Oh, mama. It's not multitude. Oh, my mama here, yeah. So, from there to university, Zaria, and he has blossomed and blossomed. You will enter the place very, very soon to see the wonders in that pyramid. Pyramid is the biggest building ever built by human beings. People who built them in Egypt were black engineers and architects. This house is called Pyramid. Three floors. No air conditioners. The air comes from God directly and the place is cool. Me, Kirojuku. So we're happy that we are hosting him. Uh, when he goes to America, government take a holiday. Make America carry holiday. Just to shake his hand. He has exhibited in USA more than 30 times. They have given him degree and degree. Oh, I have got a good degree now. All degrees. Now, let's be happy that we have a man of this stature. And the Urobo Iworo, Urobo. That's the glory of it all. Kono, he, Ruru, Kono, Tuta, he, Ruru, Kabari, he, Ulazanana. Which person is challenging Urobo? It is political challenge. Kono, Mafia. So we are happy that we are here. I think that uh, from the experience we have had now, uh, people will speak later to appreciate what Cecilia Ibu has done to make sure this thing succeeds. How more tell me you see a you know, God day your body. That's the person who you marry your girl. And the day you pick this, she comes home to salvage you. That's what she has done on her HAT now. How much are you? Oh, she's from Omiya. I live in Omiya. How much are you? Then there, she printed free all these things you are seeing now. Call program or where you print it, I do be. She said the quality must be A, A plus, not A, B. She was in England and she flew back to Lagos to stay there seven days to provide the printing. Okay. Why we were willing and say, why if we do that right now? Fortunately for us, we were also a genius of brain making. What's going on? Hey, it's been going in the focus on it, we can't afford. We have the science, all the most great doctors. We have conducted them and they are lot. I've already they are communicating through the internet. So she be clapped to other parts of the of the state. Professor Dr. Cecilia Ibru also offered that we should use the university rooms and halls free of charge for the next 10 days. Uh, well, I thank you, Madam. Welcome, all of you. We've been there to inspect them. Some of the chairs, when you see them, oh, shall you that a moment? You'll be afraid to sit on the chair. So it's great, great to be here with you, Papa. 
I think that uh, from now, this your celebration should be yearly. Eh? Uh, Amiru, no, no, no. Uh, I'm trying to take your permission. It should be yearly. You can't wait for another 10 years now. Kukwe, kukwe, I can do it, right? I will not exhaust one tenth of what he has done. Everybody in the world says he's the best. Who owns any Kukwe? Who are the buyers? The Queen of England had them. The Duke of Edinburgh, Osha, I put him out. I said, the man, the man, the man, the man, the man, the man. I want to ask you to me on the man, on the man. President of America, I tell you, Pope, 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 John, I get there. They bought and gave him a title. He drew something about Jesus going to heaven. And they met the heaven. He was rewarded by the Pope. I'll be able to get So I, I want to end by praying that uh, the kind of life I cannot put have lived should be duplicated and multiplied in Robola. That the Hebrews alone are a different dynasty. I'm not gonna lie. When Michael Hebrew passed away, Oguru passed away. 2016, I wrote an article in The Guardian, full page, left and right. I call it Honorable Michael Christopher Ojibwe Hebrew, the Jesus of global prosperity. I will say, Michael, I know the name is Honorable. Then think of the other ones following him. I will take the dinner. I don't know, but now, Sheraton will open for all of us. Right? It's free. I mean, well, uh, One, the first Urubu architect was the logo for the Zebra from London Polytechnic, who was governor of this state. Was it not? Then, Gadia was the biggest empire in Africa. I was in Babo. I was there six years as chairman. Gadia was run by the Hebrew family. Alex Hebrew, Uruemu, he owned it. I know I will not name all that. No matter, we will be, will be envious. Sheraton Hotel. Better Palace Hotel, then shipping lines, uh, aero contractors. Where is the charger? Go, uh, Where is the charger for the guys? Because, congratulations. He has not started. So, not not that is the Camera. welcome address that we will gather here regularly. And other robot people should aspire to create records like this. Let us be clear that I am According to the government of, of, of Africa, a town that cannot hold festival, that town is dead. Oh, the oh, they are get it's the other day, that's where you can change women and marriages to result from it. Oh, and all the other man, you will I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> That was inimitable Professor Gabriel Godini Dara. I think he qualifies to be our living and party bar, the Malian folklorist, professor of folklore and cultural sciences at the Delta State University, Abraka. Let's put our hands together for him once again. He has charged the atmosphere and taken us into history. And I'm sure we are all more ennobled by listening to him. Thank you very much, sir. Mentor, master, and teacher. I also want to recognize briefly Chief George Onwanita, the Okudu of Ako Kingdom. Great UIs. Also with us here is uh, Chief Eddie Onosuwe, represented by the journalist, 
justice in Yasere. So at this point, I respectfully invite the chairman of today's um, historic event, okay. Okay. Professor Sam Onyowairi, former Federal Minister of Information, Chairman Governing Council, Delsu, Chairman Advisory Committee, Delta State, and Obiruro of Akboneji, not just Okwe Kingdom. You are welcome, sir. Ajoe, 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 we are in a global setting. So let me go a little bit global. I don't know what I say. The celebrant, the organizing committee headed by uh, inestimable scholar and human being. I'm not sure anybody speaking after Gigi Dara can uh, do anything as much as he has done. <clears throat> Our distinguished banker, educationist, proprietor. So many distinguished chiefs, particularly the royal father of this ceremony, of Olum, in whose palace I am also entitled, represented by my fellow chiefs. Kingdom of uh, yes. Distinguished scholars, distinguished okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay now. It's okay. It's okay. Why, Gigi Dara, welcome you okay, okay. to Agbara okay. and all okay. the exploits of the Agbara people, Agbara nation. I am entitled to welcome you only to this conference. And this conference is Conference on Bruce Onobrak at night. About a month ago, or three weeks ago, we met the they call this center in Lagos uh, at the 90th celebration of another Ogoman, Chief Ogufiri of the OPMT, the mother and father of today's mobile and today's digital economy. At that ceremony, I saw Bruce walking very smartly. I had just cracked a joke with Professor Sonny Agwefa there. When you walked us that distance to this place, did you think that it wasn't necessary to have got an ambulance nearby? And we did it. The royal father was ahead, but those of us who so, are uh, just a little below Bruce Obrakunya were already panting. And so when I got here, I told one of my young men, please go and look for water for me. I say all of this simply to welcome all of you. This is one event that has a place in history. Abraham Obodo and I, maybe he hadn't told Bruce Olobrakunya before. He and I have been conspiring against Bruce Olobrakunya. We conspired and conspired. 
And we said, well, I don't know whether I'm just justifying my own decision. I have a good large family in the United States. I could have been staying in Lagos. I could easily also be staying in Abuja. In fact, my intention was to stay in Benin, where my library is nearby. Because from the bedroom to the library, and the day is gone. I don't need any other thing. But today, I am in the village. And I kept telling, joking with Abraham, why would Bruce Onubakoya continue to be in the records? So, J.J. Dara said, at 50, we celebrated in Lagos, 60, 70, 80. The Committee of Conspirators, thank you very much. You have done very well. And I agree with you that we should be doing it every year. I know, I also said to someone that as I was walking down and walking here, it's very difficult to develop our environment. All of this land is wealth, but until you transform the environment, if you not, where is Lagos? All the swamps, the whole of Lagos, once upon a time from the so-called Victoria Island to Ekwe, was all bush. Today, people are struggling to buy swamps in order to sanctify them. And yet we have the, the great exploiters in the program, the Agbara people. But it's so difficult because there's a market there. That's why they are there. And so Bruce haven't been in Lagos has got good reason. We congratulate you. And I'm glad that we have started something today. It's a challenge also for many of us, the younger ones, that please remember who I was making a joke here with my dear sister, which is you see there. That the economy is tough. Why is the economy tough? Who made it to be tough? If the common money was very good, we would have been calling one man. You made it, you made it, you made it. But now that the economy is tough, society is scattering everywhere. Are we discussing it? I don't know. All of us. How can it be all of us? How can all of us be the problem of today? The problem of today is with the leader. The leader of this nation at this particular point in time. Just as we would have been clapping hands for him if it was good. So we should also say, it is you. You are the problem. Because of what we are going through. And that is great. A lot of problem for all of us. How, you, how do you develop Agbara? Here is an icon. A global person. Can you imagine if in addition to what Michael and Cecilia Ibu will be doing with the university education side. If all that Olorogu Michael Ibu did had continued, I saw the brewery when I was coming. There are many other things. If those things that were done in this Agbara, forgetting about the children and the grandchildren in Wari, in uh, Ogara, and other places. Even here, we talk about the airport, how many aircraft arrived there today? No one, not, not one landed. But if Agbarauto had been developed, there would be a functioning airport. So the factor of Bruce Onobrakonia is such a positive impact on our society. I agree completely with you. We need to celebrate ourselves. If you don't celebrate yourself, who else? We talk about the Western press. CNN is old. Just as in Nigeria, we talk about the Lagos press. 
Everything about Lagos is good. As far as the media is concerned. And nothing in Agbara will be reported properly. It is a market. If the market is not there, nobody will follow you. There are so many deviants in Lagos. But one deviant in Urubu will be the one that will be reported and to be brought down. But there so many deviants in Lagos. They will not be reported. Because there's a market for them. They recycle themselves and create products for us. The single ladies and gentlemen, I'm only to make only opening remarks. There are highly distinguished people who will deal with the factor of Bosoruba Kenya, his contribution. The booklet before you there, about nine tenths of it, is a summary of his biography of all that he has done. I welcome all of you to this conference. I'll be here with you. I may not speak again because I'm not qualified to deal with many aspects of Gusto Rubato. Those who will deal with it are already here. Are you aware? Mr. Williams and gentlemen, I welcome you to this celebration of a man at the age of 90. May we have more celebrations. May Busulba Kenya be celebrated every year until it gets close according to the revelation of Digitara, until it gets close to his father and beyond. So it shall be in Jesus' name. Thank you. I think Professor Yuwari deserves a louder round of applause. And uh, much more than that, permit me to inform you that he was 81 years old yesterday. So I think it would be up for us all to rise and sing a birthday song for him. After the count of two, one, two, go. Birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear professor. Happy birthday to you. He is 81 yesterday. He was 81 yesterday. Happy birthday, dear professor. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip. So in the course of Professor Onyewari's welcome remarks, uh, an author, Dame Beauty Obodu, entered this arena. She is the author of Urobo Folk Tales, also advancing Urobo culture and tradition, the way Professor Onyewari has been doing with visual works. You are welcome, ma'am. So once again, we are delighted to have all of you here. We also recognize the registrar of Michael and Cecilia Ibu, my big brother, Dr. Kolo. You are welcome, sir. So um, we have been fortunate to have had our royal father, highly revered Okubaro of Ujian with us. He is a very busy monarch, and he has been here with all the monarchical splendor we can find anywhere in the world. Our Kobaro has a few words for us before he departs. Orujabe, 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 what's it all?
that you are training young ones. Those who want to learn from this well of blessing, they should be up and doing it. I feel so because Ikre Krak was saying that at 25, he's already trying to board. I don't know where his body to, because he's still alive now. So those of us who are scholars, of art, you hurry up to to squeeze the press of Onoyabe, Onoyabe, and to know and get more. And you know what we never say this: when you serve very efficiently, you become greater. 
I want to thank the organizers of this ceremony who said that though this is a robot nature, I should be invited. Thank you very much. And I want to say that I do not take it for granted because if I'm not invited, I will not be here. And I will not be, I will not have the opportunity to meet Bruce Onokwa to put my picture in <laughs> for, for this purpose. <laughs> so it's a great honor. Let me not end the speech without greeting Cecilia Ibu for his contribution. And this is, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Mr. Chairman, at Minister Emeritus, crowded with so many other feathers, I thank you for being. You know, if somebody wants to look mean at this ceremony, when they see your name, was out. Uh, 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 the minister was there. This, this, before he's dead, it's a very high occasion. Thank you very much. I also want to thank everybody that is behind us now for coming to see. Because when you go to a party when you are eating, you don't get anything home. But when you look, listen to speeches like this, you upgrade yourself. It's a pity I will not be able to stay longer than now. I would have loved to do so. Take back my bumper. I don't tell what I don't take back my bumper.
Zeus on no black bear. He's a living art avatar who shares the same hallowed platform with Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo in the universal configuration of artistic influence. He was in the vanguard of the Zaria rebels that championed the decolonization of African visual arts by privileging traditional influences in their practice. Much of the motif of Ono Brakoya's art is rooted in his Urobo tradition as a gives visual representation to ethno-philosophy, folklore, politics, environment, religion, and modernity. While Urobo tradition provides his scholars, the world remains his canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, simply put, this is a summary of Professor Bruce Obame Yoma Ono Brakoya's citation. Thank you. So we move on to the next item, which is cultural extravaganza. Ema dance, Ibada dance, okay. and Uje dance. But we are prepared with them not to spend more than 10 minutes so that uh, we can make progress and move on to the Ovo Mairoro gallery. So the traditional dancers, please. As they march in, Uje, not Tomoko, Uje, Uje. As they march in, I recognize the presence of the former editor of the Guardian, Dr. Paul Onumakoko. Please let's put our hands together for him. Thank you. Uje dancers, you have seven minutes. Happy birthday.
Hello. I'm going to do it. Thank you very much. Do the downtown of Fundu. I'm okay. That was the UJ dance troupe of Fundu and the Yellow Kingdom. Uh, some poetry that was made popular all over the world by Professor J.P. Clark, Professor J.J. Dara, and Professor Tanure Ojaibi. And of course, for contemporary scholarship, Dr. Peter Omoko and Mr. Moses Dara. We thank you for that uh, performance. Let us put our hands together for them, please. At this point, I want to invite the society So you are, you are also being posted to a wonderful spectacle and delight. Something you have heard so much about but have not seen. Before uh, the bridal pageantry, around the bridal dance, around during the colorful spectacle that you are observing. You are walking into the arena majestically. Let us put our hands together in welcoming them to this occasion. The bridal dance, bridal pageantry, Eva Ujere from the Ujere Kingdom. It's a wonderful sight to behold. As they approach us, we invite the Vice President, Society of Nigerian Artists, Basi Achibong, to do a presentation to our father, Papa Professor Bruce Onobrakea. Let's put our hands together for members of the Society of Nigerian Artists, even led by the Vice President, Comrade Basi Ajibo. You are welcome, sir. I greet you all, Royal Father, and every eminent person here present. My name is Achiba Basi, Vice President, Society of Nigerian Artists Southeast. We are representing Mohammed Suleiman, the National President of Society of Nigerian Artists. SNA is here to celebrate one of the founding fathers of Society of Nigerian Artists, a living legend, one of the greatest artists of our time. We thank you very much, everyone here present. And we want to continue to congratulate our father here and wish that we will also celebrate his centenary again in good health and happiness and peace. Congratulations, sir.
welcome the bridal dance to this arena. They are already pulling us and they are all displaying colorfully before us all.
Ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together for the bridal troupe, for the wonderful display, reminiscences of the times of old, and reinforcing our rich cultural heritage. Wado. So in the next few minutes, we shall be done with this session, and as the freshman goes on, we'll move into the Ahuma Eroro Gallery. After that, we respectfully crave the indulgence of everybody to proceed to the Michael and Cecilia Ibro University, where the second session will be taking place. At this point, I want to call on one of the professional grandchildren of Professor Bruce Ono Brakoya. That is the head, Department of Fine and Applied Arts, Delta State University, Abraka. Professor S.C. Udokuma, Abodari, to do the vote of thanks. Professor Udokuma, Abodari. The Almighty Professor Akoroda, Abovu, Let's put our hands together for our place. Yeah. Good afternoon. I hope you're having a nice time. I hope everybody's having a nice time. Yes, yes, yes. Papa Bruce, my father. I'm happy for today. I'm happy for your life. Can I touch you? Please, please, come for this, come for this. He's a who's coming up. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank everybody, our royal fathers, the professors, my colleagues, my students, my visitors. I want to thank everybody. Mrs. Cecilia, you're wonderful. You're great. You're a woman. Please, please stop for her.
Ok. You know, use your side. You know, you back from the camera direction. So I can end stream. Yeah, 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 I